Hi, welcome back. We had some technical difficulties. Yeah, they should be resolved. Um, the game really does not like um, in the zone Overwatch, I think. And now we have a bunch of uh, live cyber discs behind us. It looks like and zombies. Oh, the 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 fallen are here to stay. Um Let's try and Okay, I hear those things that eat you. So it looks like in the zone, if you don't move and you shoot and you kill something, you get two actions. So regular shots and an overwatch only counts as one action for the purpose of in the zone. So you can shoot, kill something, as long as you kill stuff, at the end of your kill streak, you can then overwatch and reload, which is awesome. You see me do it already this mission, but it's awesome. Okay, that said, everyone's ammo level is good. I heard chrysalids, and the worst possible thing they could do is be down here. Oh, oh. You see the lack of... There's a bunch of chrysalids down here. Um... Let's go ahead and hop down while in ghost mode. Where's Zhang? So they haven't moved. And it's been a long, drawn-out battle. Let's, uh... Saying does not have chitin. I think we've discussed this. Let's move him here. Um... Pull back. Scoot him over first. Yeah, let's pull our gunners back. Him, huh? Another chrysalid voicing his unhappiness with the status quo. Okay. A little terrifying, but we should be good, right? Because you can't attack me. What is going on? Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure what activate. Okay. Whatever. You guys are mostly toast.
He can hit all of you. Let's take a shot at this one. In the zone. In the zone. You get yourself some. You knock this guy down to size for me. This fire prevents the chrysalid from getting up here. Okay. Those guys down. Overwatch. In case there are more. Whew. Positioning is rough. Let's just dash her up. <clears throat> I think all the cyberdisks have activated. I've had their fun. Activated telekinetic field anyway. Together, we are just to secure my my dash moves here. And my questionable flanking choices. We're free to go. Mostly I don't think anything will be coming up here but yeah just as a positioning tool let's use telekinetic field since I have two I still have one in case of emergencies let's get him up there Awesome. Well, I hope the first portion of this video turns out because that second half was not nearly as impressive. The gunners really pulled through. 
That said, we did take one damage due to the uh, two exhausted troops. Um, due to Titan Armor giving you nine health, and apparently Sectopod cannon shots have can damage within two spaces to either side of a unit. Um, and Zhang had no cover due to a glitched portion of a car, so he took a shot to the face for 10 damage, and so did everyone standing next to him, which was one health worth of damage. But for a successful terror mission that gross, I guess I'll take it. Alright, rapid fire on these gunners is insane. Deep pockets would let me use ghost armor, but rapid fire. I believe is to best, especially with Executioner. All right, we did capture, okay, four Cyberdisks, 12 Chrysalid Corpses, two Sectopod Rex, nine drones. Yeah, that was some serious. Be in touch, Commander. That was some serious enemy-ness. And we get to build two Dodge boosts, which will bring us up to five, which means we are totally ready to finish this air war. Whew. All right, since this mission is pretty short, it does not feel short. Floater, heavy floater, muton. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely assault this. Brad Sullivan, one of our medics just came off duty. Um, we can afford to send some lower level troops with a little bit of cover, right? I do need, I need like a week of peace and quiet. But in a couple days I should get back a significant number of troops. I don't think I can wait that long to assault this. <coughs> But I will totally assault this. Um, the sniper will be especially useful, our colonel sniper. Glad I didn't take him on the mission. He wouldn't have helped it nearly as much against all the mechanical units as uh, the units I did take. I have no psychics. Um, I don't think it'll wait a whole day. I can bring... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Might have to bring my shivs. <clears throat> um, I don't even bother to pretend that I can take a serious mission, so. What was that? What was that? Is that an abductor? Contact detected. Abductors are gross, but you do get to fight right outside. Psi powers would be especially good here, but I do not want to further exhaust any of my psychics, right? Well. <clears throat> so, with Willems being five days out, <clears throat> um, let's look at this exhausted. How much health does he have? <clears throat> five. Uh, see, the more base health you have, <clears throat> the less time out you get for exhaustion. <clears throat> Excuse me. So exhaustion is a two wound penalty as <clears throat> Carlos was not wounded in the action. Um, this <clears throat> this battle, neither was Jeff Baker. But you see, the fraction of your total health that you're missing determines how long you're out. And in this case, um, Jeff lost a third of his health, two of six, is 33 percent 
And Carlos lost less, therefore Carlos is out less time. So... Plus, it of course ignores the tire time you already have um, when concluding how long you'll be out. So, if I can send this character who has 8 base health, which means that he'll be out even less time than Carlos, maybe like 8 to 9 days. Um, and we can already go ahead and subtract the 5 days he's already out from that, meaning that he'll only be out 3 or 4 days longer than he would. Which, if you consider sending a psychic on a mission or not, um, is totally worth it to me. So we'll be sending Arthur out on this mission for sure. Um, and he and our sniper will be our guides as we tackle the um, sectoid commanders, outsiders, mutons, floaters, and heavy floaters. Mainly the heavy floaters are the ones that will give our rookies the most trouble. But uh, it looks like an easy one. We will finally get uh, the ability to build our blaster launchers, which is fine because we only recently in that last terror mission I think captured enough Illyrium to actually build one of the damn things. Uh, maybe we'll capture enough Illyrium to build two. Uh, I think there are up to four flight computers on an abductor. I hope so. Alright, that said, um, I'm going to look at the original video and see if it's salvageable. And uh, maybe, maybe I can at least edit it down. And uh, next mission we will... Uh, yeah, let's just pray for a little bit of peace and quiet while our fusion lances clean, uh, finish off. Anything in the barracks I need to think about? Um, let's equip a plasma cannon on this puppy that finished, um, sometime before the terror mission. And, looks like we're good. Only one kill on three. All right, yeah, let's just, we'll be up to top form in about a week. <laughs> pray, pray for nothing. All right, so uh, until the next video, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw, and um, farewell.